Kozakai of Fourth University will make a presentation on efficient GPU implementation for integer sorting based on histogram and prefix sums. First of all, I will explain the process that led to this experiment. When implementing GPGPU, there is a sort as a sorting algorithm provided by CUDA's CUB library in the integrated development environment provided by NVIDIA. This sort is fast because it is highly optimized for the GPU. So I wanted to devise an algorithm that is faster than CUB sorting. And since these sort are general purpose sorting algorithms, I thought that an algorithm specialized for integer sorting might be able to devise a faster algorithm. Integer sorting here refers to sorting on input data distributed to non-negative integers greater than or equal to mean bar and less than max bar. In our preliminary experiments, the computing time of each algorithm is almost independent of max bar and mean bar, as long as range is the same. Therefore, we set mean bar equal to zero. In my research, I implemented the integer sorting algorithm based on histogram and prefix sum on the GPU. First, an integer sorting algorithm based on histogram and prefix sums, which was designed to work on prelims. This HP sort is the actual implementation of this algorithm on the GPU. We then devised a new zero compressed HP sort, which is an improvement on HP sort. This algorithm is faster by compressing the histogram. We also experimented to see if speeding up was achieved by comparing the conclusion times between these sorts and cup sorts. The HP sort is effective for non distinct data with small max bar. Let's take the case where max bar is very small, such as 150 of n. In this case, HP sort was 2.97 times faster than cup sort. When max bar is small, HP sort is faster than the compressed HP sort. Also, the difference is very small. However, the zero compressed HP sort is faster than the curve sort when max bar is large, but the number of kind of input data is small. The graph on the left shows the case where the number of kind of input data is 100. The graph on the right shows the case where the number of kind of input data is 1000. Because max bar is large, HP sort is slower than cup sort. On the other hand, the zero compressed HP sort is faster than the cup sort because of the small number of kinds. Now, before explaining the algorithm of HP sort and zero compressed HP sort, I will explain about histogram and prefix sums. Histogram is an algorithm to generate a frequency distribution table that counts the number of elements in the input array. The size of the output array is max bar. This is because it's based on the index that matches its element of the input array. For example, the number of data n in the input array is 14 and the max bar is 9. Thus, we can see that the maximum value of an element is 8. Since the size of the output array is max bar, the index of the output array is from 0 to 8 and the size of the array is 9. Prefix sums is an algorithm that outputs the sum of the elements from the zeros to the case of the input array to the case of the output array. For example, the second of the output array is contains three, the sum of the values from the zeros to the second and of the input array. The seventh of the output array will contain 10, which is the sum of the zeros to seventh elements of the input array. Now let's talk about the HP sort algorithm based on the histogram and the prefix sums just described. The parameters of the algorithm, n which represents the number of input data, and the input array x and the output array y, size are n respectively. The work array a and a b are the size max bar, and b is n plus one. As an overview of the algorithm, First, create a histogram A, which is a frequency distribution table of the input data. 
it then generates an AB by applying the first prefix sums to histogram A to produce an array B with a histogram of the AB. Finally, the first result is output to Y by applying the prefix sums to histogram B a second time. The HP sort algorithm completes sorting by performing the process of generating a histogram and applying a prefix sums to it twice in this way. The paper also describes an algorithm called RAM HP sort, which sorts the data by doing histogram and prefix sums once each, provided that input data are distinct. And then we'll talk about their compressed HP sort. The zero compressed HP sort is an algorithm that aims to reduce the load when applying the prefix sums to the histogram by compressing the number zero parts when generating the histogram A of the HP sort. As algorithm parameters, in addition to M and max bar, which are similar to HP sort, then which represents the number of kind of input data it's used. The array used the work array C of size ram plus one instead of AB. The difference from HP sort in the algorithm is the process of generating C of the size ram plus one that compressed of the zero parts of the histogram instead of the prefix sums after generating the histogram, and the process of generating array B by using C. The biggest difference from HP sort is that the amount of calculation in step three is order rem. The HP sort was order lax bar, so if rem is smaller than max bar, speed up can be expected. The GPU implementation of histogram and prefix sums is described below. Histogram is implemented using CUDA atomic function atomic add, and prefix sums is implemented by calling tabulary function inclusive sum. As the first device when implementing it, we separated coalescing access and random access. A simple implementation provides coalescing access to the input array X within the arguments of the atomic add function by separating the execution of this coalescing access and random access. It can be slightly faster. This separation of coalescing access and random access execution is not limited to admit at, but also applies to implementations of the other processes. As a second device, we unified the early allocation of the work arrays. In a naive implementation, memory allocation for work arrays, other than input and output arrays, is dynamically done for each array using the CUDA library's CUDA malloc method. And the allocated memory is also released by the CUDA free method for each array. However, this method took longer to execute than the calculated parts of the algorithm. Therefore, we unify the memory allocation. First, allocate the memory for all arrays at once and partition memory to each array according to its size. In that case, the memory release itself can be done only for the batches memory. So CUDA malloc and CUDA free needs to be executed once, which leads to a reduction in calculation time. Now, let me explain the comparative experiments that were conducted. The experiments used Intel Xeon CPU E52620 and NVIDIA Tesla K40C, respectively. The low performance of each is like this. We compare the computation time of each algorithm using four input test sets. These are distinct data, non-distinct data, data with a fixed range, and data with range kinds of values. The range here refers to the difference between the maximum and minimum values of the element of the input data. The maximum and minimum values of the input data are max bar and min bar. The results just described with the help of a graph were particularly characteristic of the algorithm. Since the detail of each experimental result are described in the paper, we will omit them here. To summarize the experimental result, for distinct data, one HP sort was the most effective data set, up to 2.01 times faster than cup sort. For the later three data sets, HP sort and 
pero compres HP Salt. Very effective. When max power was small for N, HP Salt was up to 2.97 times faster than Cub Salt. And gel compressed HP salt was up to 2.73 times faster than the cub salt. The max bar was large, but the number of kinds of input data was small. The compressed HP salt was up to 1.57 times faster than cub salt. The proposed algorithm works well only with certain types of data, and the applicability of our algorithm is quite large. It is also applicable when max bar mass minimal is smaller than n, and or number of kinds of input data is smaller than max bar minus minimal. The circuit applications include, for example, sorting exam scores of many examines and sorting ages of many people. Stable sorting algorithms maintain in the output the relative order of input appearance in the case of equally revalued data. If the algorithm is stable, it can be used as subroutine to sort each digit of a radix sort. Proposed algorithm in this paper are not stable, making our algorithm stable while preserving their efficiency is future work. This brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.